for it today, you know, because it's, it's getting off peak, right? Is that, um, you know, right, women who do not let the father see and deal with the child and just and raise them. A lot of women are just looking for man to pay out though, and that's it. Now, we've heard for the last few weeks about man wanting to see their children and not getting to see them. It started off really good the first week because a man was explaining the court procedures and stuff like that. So, um, Paul, can you please reiterate the court procedures, how, um, how the system is basically based um, in a woman's favour and how, in what situation could a man get custody of a child and win over custody of a child because apparently it's not just the case that if the man is um, better suited, better financially, got a more stable home and whatever, there's got to be more criteria to it than that. Well, if the, if the man has a better home and he's better financially stable, well then ask is for him to give more money away. He probably even asks to, to give away the house as well. Now, what it is, is first of all, if you really want to see your child, and there's no doubt about it, yeah, all you have to do is go to the court, yeah, and go to the family section, ask for a C1 form. You fill out the C1 form, and you know you put your details in there. You know why you want to see your child. Your details is something simple. It's your name. It's your date of birth. It's your address. Yeah, you need to have a stable address so they can contact you with. Yeah, on top of that, you need to know why you want to be looking for your son. Why do you want your son? See, the C1 form is about parental responsibility, contact order, and residency order. I tell you one thing for now, don't put down res residency. All you have to put down is urgent, yeah, and interim contact. That means you get to see your child in the contact center. Whenever you put down something for residency, the judge will just look at you and, and say, well, nah, not yet anyway. So they're not even going to look at that. Probably you're going to have to wait four to five years, you know, with constant problems from the mother before he can even decide that he wants to look at it. Unless it's something really, really drastic. And even then, I can't even tell you what it is because there's been people who take drugs, yeah? Women who take drugs, you know, they're outside prostituting. they still got their child. They'd rather put the child into care than give it to you. So what are you going to do? There's nothing you can do apart from keep fighting and keep showing that you are there. Okay, we've got a text message in. Text message reads, What should a woman do when she puts no restrictions on the father and leave all avenues open? Even letting, even letting the child phone and not even once during the summer did he see the child. It's coming from 187. Okay, now <clears throat> this one is a very easy one to, to, to give you. Alright, pay attention and have a pen and paper ready because you might need it, you might not. Right, this is called changing minds. You've put an open door for him to come in. So basically he's got no excuse, yeah, as he gets older. But you know what? He's stubborn, yeah? So let him carry on being stubborn. But you know that he's got a mother and a father. He's also got a brother or a sister. Take the child to the grandmother's house, yeah? And leave the, your, your child there for an hour. Then the next week, another hour. Then the following week, two hours and so on. Until they turn around and say, yeah, just leave him for the night and so on. And you've got a relationship with the grandparents or maybe the brother or the sister. Yeah. When the father goes round to his family's house and he sees his child walking up and down and enjoying himself or herself. Yeah. He will feel like a damn fool because he's not having that love shown to him. Yeah. And he will want to play a part because, you know, it's his mother and his father that he's seeing yeah with his own child when the child is not showing him no love they're showing them the love and he's going to want some of that love yeah even if you know his friends drop the child down to his friends when he when he sees his friends around on the street and his friends going yo your child is so great and yeah, it, you know so you make the child a godfather you make the you make the man a godfather or or the girl the, the god woman you need to do this thing. you need to bring them in bold because if you don't bring them in bold yeah, this guy's gonna get away with it. Yeah, it's just called changing minds. It's so easy to do. But what sometimes people do is that they think, oh, it's got to be the man. You've got to get to this man. Forget the man. Forget the man. Make the effort with the family. Grandparents, they want to be involved. 
Trust me, they want to be. They might act stupid at first, yeah, because they don't know where they are. They don't know where they're coming from. They don't know if they're going to get hurt. They're too fragile. They're too old to be in this kind of mess, yeah? But they want to love their grandchildren, yeah? They're there for a reason. They're there so your child can ask them silly questions, yeah? There might not be silly questions. It'd be like, mum, uh, granddad, grandma, why does the cat fight with the dog? You don't want to answer that question because you think it's too long-winded and it's stupid because, you know, you see it every day. But they will sit down and talk to you because they've got nothing better to do. <laughs> yeah? These questions, you're like, um, my, uh, why, why was Jesus born? You would say, oh, why don't you go to church or why don't you find out at school? You can find out. He can find that out from the grandparents. They've got tons of stories to tell. And you know what? Very important question that the child will ask the, to their grandparents. Where is daddy? Where's my dad? And you see the easiest thing about that is because when a child gets older, it's not that the child hasn't had a choice to know their dad, yeah? He's now choosing, or she's now choosing, not to know the dad because the dad didn't want to get involved. When a child has the right to turn around and say it, they don't get messed up. They're only messed up when you interfere and you take that choice. You should never take a choice for your child. You should let them because they have got their own damn mind. Yeah, because, you know, that's why it's called parental alienation. When the mother has now, like, put some sickness on the child to allow them, you know, to, to be turning around and saying, I don't, I don't want to know my dad. And it's a guilt trip. It's a mental health illness. Don't let your child get into no mental health illness, no binge drinking, no smoking, no early death, no teenage problems, no criminal activity. All you have to do is let them make their own choices. Because if they see that they can see their grandparents, and then, you know, when, their when their dad turns around, you know, 20 years later, oh, your mom won't let me see you, yeah, he can say, hold on a second, I was at your parents' house, yeah, she wasn't there, yeah. Where was you? You have no excuse. Well, 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 no excuse. It's your parents' house. You had plenty of time. I stayed there overnight. I stayed there summertime. Yeah? Mother wasn't not there. You were not going to argue with mum because mum was somewhere else. Yeah? Why wasn't you there? And then he can say, get lost. Or she will say, get lost. Don't want to know you. And they will be happy. Lawyer, save that text as well for future references. Yeah, save that text that she sent. Oh, okay, yeah, save it, yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, big up for the text. 07 908 568 581. I really don't know how the argument went a bit wild today, but I mean, it's an emotive subject, as we say. Mm. Lawyer, I've heard you are organizing. Live call, what are you saying? Hello. Hello. Yeah. I'm going to introduce you like, all the way out of the way, way home. Okay. I've got a woman and tell you that like, you're talking so much sense. I've been through it myself as a child, and I'm in the same situation with my boyfriend and my baby. Okay, so what, he doesn't want to see the child or...? No, no he wants to see the child, but right now, it's a case where I'm so hurt, that, that I feel like I want to use the my child, child oh, okay. as a weapon. Right. But true, because I've been through it myself, yeah. And I don't want my child to go through what I went through, the court cases. Because really and truly, when I got to an age like 30, 40, yeah. all I wanted to do was hurt my mum for not letting me see my dad. Yeah, yeah. But I'm, 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 what, 20, 22 now, yeah? So I can see her hurt and I understand where she's coming from. Yeah, yeah. But at the same time, you know, as a child, all you can see is, boy, why are you let me see my dad? It can't be that bad. Okay. You see what I'm saying? But on a case where a lot of men are coming from, they're not understanding women the way I see it, yeah? A woman scorned, I don't mean to swear, but she's a dangerous woman. I hear you, I hear you. Okay. And King Solomon was the wisest man on earth. Because he had so much wives. So he could get rid of some of them. <laughs> no, but... <laughs> 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 but uh, all right, hold on, I've got a brother here that wants to talk to you, yeah? Okay. All right, sister, it's characterism, yeah? Um, yeah. Boys, all I can say is, first of all, you seem like a wise sister. And um, yeah. since you had to go through that yourself, mm. I'm sure you love your child. So the best mm, thing for, for you real. to do is put your emotions to a side and think of how you felt when you had to go through that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And just come to an understanding between you and, the, and your baby father. I, I'm trying, but... Wait, I don't know, you know? 
You know what, sister? This is Braids, yeah? Um, 